Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about understanding the big picture. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is it important for software developers to understand how the overall product works from a customer's viewpoint, even though your team might only be responsible for a small piece of the total functionality? Yes. Yes, it is. Because, my friend, every single made-up statistic that I can imagine proves the very made-up um, point I'm going to make now, which is very official, that all human beings do better when they have a purpose at everything. It's a very official. I don't know exactly how to give you proof of that, but I'm like, uh, let's just say that I feel it in my bones, and there's probably a report somewhere that you can look up that uh, that proof. If you are just as similar to how, and ex let's make a mental picture. If you stand, if I put you on an assembly line, and a piece of metal comes in front of you on like the on the track or like the uh, I guess part of that uh, line right if you don't know what you're gonna do further downstream or what the end result is gonna be it's gonna be very tricky for you to know what to do with that thing so your manager might go and tell you all right uh, hammer this thing into this shape okay so you hammer the thing into the right shape and then the next one comes and you do it again and you do that for a day or two and nobody complains cool you have now learned how to hammer something into a shape and you do that for 20 years and then when you're in your 50s so uh, however old you are like 60s or something like that uh, or even uh, whatever right uh, the manager comes and says hey you're too expensive uh, I'm gonna fire you now and get myself a 19 year old or like some like person like that uh, to do the same thing and so they teach that person to hammer the metal into to the right shape and now you have spent 20 years without learning anything meaningful about how you might, you might not even know what you were doing you just did this one thing because you you never took the time to actually understand the purpose behind of the thing that you are doing and how that fits into the overall structure of of like you, you have no big picture understanding of what you're doing and that is one of the surest ways for you to be to stay uneducated to stay stupid to be easy to trick to be easy to manipulate to be easy to do all these sorts of things the main driving force between behind all of the stuff that you see in terms of corruption, sales, marketing, etc., 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 comes from a person's inability to understand a greater purpose or the bigger picture. Because that is, in my opinion, it's the same. It's the opposite, in my opinion, of being having wisdom. Wisdom is to understand, to have the intelligence and like the emotional understanding of. The bigger picture how all these things work and how they all fit together and so forth and so forth that is what my and one of my definitions of what wisdom is and the opposite is to only understand well one perspective or like just understand this little piece which mean, makes you very susceptible this is why people argue that isolation and segregation and things like that actually causes these sorts of frictions because you simply don't have exposure to the bigger larger scheme of things and the world is bigger than your very little narrow uh, thing that you're looking at, right? And one of the things that you get if you have an understanding of what the end customer needs is that you get the ability to actually derive how everything fits together and whether or not something is working well or not. Maybe it turns out that you sit standing there on the assembly line is, uh, well, you're hammering the thing into shape, but you realize that actually you're using a lot of force to hammer that thing into shape. Maybe you could carve it instead because instead of like slacking, smacking this piece of metal, it's actually easy for you to just use a little drill or power tool or something like that. And you can actually increase how fast you can do that job. And all of a sudden you get more free time on your hands between each thing that is uh, each, uh, each time the, the assembly line moves. And now your manager all of a sudden notices that, oh shit, I need to give you more work. 
and all of a sudden you now invite the opportunity for you to actually say yeah you can give me more work or maybe I could do the same thing for the next the next piece of the like of this entire thing right and you start to actually get an understanding of how to contribute in a more meaningful way because you know what you're going for and that is a very powerful thing because even though you work on a very small piece of functionality it's very difficult for you to do two things if you don't actually know what you're making or like to how all of this sort of thing fits into get to the end customer and I've always found that when you go and talk to the customer it's actually funny because in many cases a lot of the systems that are being used are not actually exactly the thing that the customer wants and in many cases you work on a small piece of functionality for sure but if you only work on that thing and you don't actually feel any commitment to making someone happy or like you're doing something for somebody else it becomes very demotivating for you as a worker that is something that has always been been proven in many studies where the the act of doing something for someone else makes you feel good about what you do and so by going and knowing your customer and understanding the pieces of the puzzle that they are uh, uh, that you are responsible for towards them gets you a sensation of how meaningful is your work and it's soul crushing sometimes where you work on like this tiny little thing that nobody really cares about but then at the very least you now have a way for you to figure that out and go and do something else that feels more meaningful because a complete a, a, an entire work as I said like with the assembly line a life spent doing something that is almost pointless and doesn't fulfill you in any way might actually be very dangerous for you if not because you might be fired in the future and not actually develop any like broader skill set it might just be soul crushing for you and actually makes you a dumber or like a worse person that you than you could be and in many cases by just taking the time to understanding your customer like the thing and vision that you're building towards you will evolve as a person and in many cases you will also be able to start aligning better it's actually better for the company if this happens as well if all the teams are doing it because that means that they're all trying to adjust their own process towards the greater good or towards that end customer that they're all catering to right and that is the best recipe for creating high quality software and good and strong companies the most surefire way to kill that is what usually happens in the larger organizations where you have personal interest you have all this you have corruption that happens in politics as well you have like different agendas that are not really intended in any way to help the end result it's really about them or their own laziness their own stupidity their own whatever right that is in my opinion at the very least the opposite of what you want to go for and that's why the bigger picture and involving people in committing to the end customer or like a political vision or whatever you're doing is such an important factor in order to achieve that greater a greater good if that makes sense so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, it's very good for you to always know why you are doing the thing that you are doing and how your piece of the puzzle contributes to the customer or whatever you're doing because if nothing else it might turn out that you might find new ideas of how to do things better you might find that this is completely pointless and you can just scrap the entire department and the only reason you're sitting there is because of incompetence or circumstances etc etc then you can of course do go down the route of just saying that all right then I'm just gonna be quiet with it or I'm just gonna focus on this one thing and never grow as a person you can do that but you can also save yourself from becoming less than you could be which I am a big fan of like becoming more becoming as much as you can possibly be uh, and it also gives you the opportunity to go and do something else for another team where they might have more meaningful work it's up to you how to deal with it but I've always found that starting by just talking to the customer almost always ends the same way it gives you a reason to do a good job almost always and if it doesn't it gives you a reason to move on have a great day.